Hello from a dark and rainy Finland. My name is Heidi and today I'm going to show you my January setup for 2021. I know this is a little bit late but I wanted to get started on my YouTube channel and that means I want to release videos on a regular basis and last week I released my 2021 setup video if you haven't seen that and are interested go on and check it out but today we are doing my January setup even though it's <laughs> like one full week late right so as you might have guessed from the from the name of the video I'm doing Hollow Knight setup for this one and Hollow Knight if you don't know is a video game which is a great video game. If you haven't played it yet, go play it if you're at all interested in games. And if you haven't and but are still interested in seeing this, welcome. And if you haven't played it and are interested in playing it, maybe be wary of, wary of some spoilers. I don't know how many spoilers there are going to be. I'm trying to be... Um, careful with what I say but you never know and also maybe the places I set up here might be a little bit spoilery anyway here we, here I'm doing the uh, the first page of January which is basically just a name and a little calendar and for this I'm doing the King's Pass theme which is the first area you are in when you start Hollow Knight, so I thought it was perfect start for January, the beginning of the game. I'm using here watercolors, uh, both my old and new watercolors. My old ones did pretty bad, <laughs> bad quality for the left side of the, of the spread, as you can see. And I was like, oh god, I have messed this up. But then I took the new ones, and they are so nice and pigmented, and. I tried to make it smoother and it looks pretty good even though it doesn't look like that in this in this uh, video but believe me I actually like it a lot in, in real life so then I just used my white gel pen and wrote to name January and then the small calendar which could be more straight but I'm not that good at anything and that's literally one of the first times I'm trying to write a pretty cursive and my handwriting is never the prettiest. So I also put this quote, quote here. Hi beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. I thought it's a nice quote which is only also from the beginning of the game and yeah I then I messed up it with the borders but whatever also I used way too much water as you can see in this next spread and it bled through so I had to become a little bit creative with this calendar page so it wouldn't look that bad with that bled through okay I'm using notebook therapy's Tsukinara notebook which is said it can take a lot of watercolor and it did take it pretty nicely but as you can see it's not perfect like but is any notebook that perfect with watercolors yeah but after that I started to use less water and it was great and my new new set of watercolors were quite nice and I was able to blend them better than the old ones so it's not really the paper issue, it was just my watercolor issue. My old ones were really cheap. So back to this calendar page. Here I'm doing the village that is at the beginning of the game. I thought it was nice because it's right after King's Pass. And yeah, it has small houses made of like shells of snail shells, I think, and stuff. Snails are something in this game too. It's not only bugs, if you didn't know. Hollow Knight is a story of bugs who has this kingdom and you are this nameless traveler who tries to go through 
this place and just meets people sees that everything's not right in this kingdom and tries to tries their best to you know help others and stuff you can also not help others if that's what you want to do that's also option at some points but basically it's an adventure game and it's amazing adventure game and the characters are so cute and I want it to start January and my book first ever bullet journal with this theme because I'm familiar with drawing these characters and I thought that something familiar would be nice to start with. But don't take me wrong, everything in this setup is still quite new to me. I'm new to watercolor so I basically learned a lot about watercolors while doing this one. As you can see the sky I'm doing, I did to this page is just I did it with my old watercolors and it makes weird spots and I can't blend them. There's no way I can blend them. So I tried to hide the bleed through with making a nice splotch, splotches, splashes of watercolor where I'm going to write the numbers of the month and I thought it was quite nice. Now that I look at it I could have used some other blue. I'm not quite happy with how this spread looks but I'm still I'm still proud of myself because I have used almost zero watercolors before and it's nice to try and I'm taking this as an experience and to see how I have improved. So here I'm doing my trackers. Here is the not all the trackers sorry here's on the right side is my cleaning tracker and on the left side I'm going to put that little nice, uh, you know, schedule for my university lectures. Yeah, I thought it was perfect so that I had these ready ones from my old ca old calendar that is that was just bought from a store and I never used them back then because they weren't at the place where I often looked. So I thought why not use them now? So I think it's pretty nice. So the Hollow Knight theme here is Funnel Waste, which is basically a place where there are a lot of mushrooms and maybe some kind of spore, if that's a word. I'm not quite sure, but it's pretty. I thought this was fun that I put it there where it's cleaning tracker and it's not the cleanest place, I think. But it's still a very beautiful place and I just thought it's quite fitting for this place. And here I use these brush markers from Scribbles That Matter and also some watercolor which I used for some highlights for the uh, headers like courses, deadlines and to-do. I thought that these three categories would be perfect to help me with my schoolwork and stuff. So to the cleaning tracker I put daily and um, once a week and once a month which basically means that some things like dishes, five minute cleaning and picking up trash and taking it out is like a daily basis and baths like dusting and cleaning floors is only once a week and fridge is like once a month. I'm really bad at cleaning so I thought maybe this one will motivate me because then I can use my bullet journal and fill it up and I thought it would be much more rewarding that way. And also I used here my cheap gel pens and they didn't want to dry up. It was like very painful and then when I started to erase the uh, pencil marks it just went everywhere and I was frustrated with it. Ah, then I added these golden dots which is a very remarkable thing about fungal waste and they are really beautiful but in this spread they are not that beautiful. So in this spread I'm doing more trackers but this time I'm using you know more like happy trackers and mood tracker which are more personal and not about cleaning and st school stuff. 
but more like lifestyle and quality of it. And for the game theme, it's a green bath and queen's garden. And I thought, which are green places in the game, and thought it would be nice and refreshing in this one. I tried to do the places at first, like in a chronological order, as they come up with in the game, but then I just gave up and decided that I'd do whatever fits wherever, basically. So to the left side, drew this cartographer from whom you can get maps of the places he's an amazing guy and on the right I drew this like a statue a grave more likely because there is a coast of a or a soul of a bug that you can find against and this bug is amazing and I thought it's nice and it's in Queen's Garden, so I thought why not. Then I just drew some bubbles to mark my days for Mood Tracker, even though there's no bubbles in that place, but whatever. I thought bubbles would be nice and colorful bubbles. So for the Habit Trackers, I thought that following habits like writing and reading, exercise and sleep would be good for now. I'm not familiar with tracking my things, so I started smaller. And so far it's been going well. It's just that I it's hard to keep up with because I'm not used to it. And also at the bottom of the page I put monthly goals because I put at the beginning spreads of 2021, my goals, my long-term goals, but then I was like, it's hard to follow long-term goals without some kind of milestones, so I thought that maybe if I put monthly goals that would help me reach those long-term goals, then it would be more efficient and better, and so here I can see them whenever I want, and remind myself of what I have to do every month to reach that in the long term. It's pretty fun, I think, that way. So here I use again that those dual brush pens by Scribbles That Matter and colored pretty much everything with them. This time I just... I used a little bit of watercolors too for the, for the grave statue and for the cartographer. And for the sleep tracker, I put these uh, bo um, dots that mark under 6 hours, 6 to 7 hours, 7 to 8 hours, 8 to 9 hours, and 10 plus hours of sleep. That way I can use it in a calendar like shape. Maybe next month I'll use some other kind of tracker. So on to the next threads, which is content planner. And you know, growth tracker and stuff. I have already the one I put in the 2021 spreads that has like list and at which state I am whenever I plan. But this is more like when I'm going to publish things and you know, in a calendar-like style. And it helps me to see what I want to publish and when I want to publish it but like in a better way. And that way I can plan accordingly when they are at one place and they are in the calendar. <laughs> so here on the right side I put lists, which is the YouTube videos and Instagram posts. Uh, 
that month, like this month, which is four YouTube videos and at least eight Instagram posts. And then the next one month where I can plan already for the next one if I need to start like recording for the next for the first or second week of the next one next month uh, beforehand. And this place, I sorry, I seriously forgot the way the place, but it's like the border border of the kingdom. It was something like that. And it's a very white and grey place and it's quite serene, I would say. Beautiful even. And there's really no other explanation why I chose it for this tracker anyway, but I just thought it's nice and I wanted to use it at least in some tracker. And the tree works quite nicely with the calendar, I must say. I like it. It looks cool. Only the roots are look weird and also later I drew some lines for Saturdays because I'm going to upload every Saturday a video not that if you want to follow me and also subscribe so you get that video whenever it comes up but yeah I used here mostly just my Sakura Micron highlight uh, no highlighters sorry the um, fine liners and then some watercolors for accent colors, Misty Rich is grey. It's quite different for the previous page, which was green and then colorful bubbles everywhere once it's done. So the next spread is the first week, which is Crystal Big themed. And since the first week, I'm sorry, it's seriously late this first week too, like it's already past. Uh, one full week and these three days that were part of last year's last week actually sorry but yeah I decided to do to the left side a quick new year spread which I will just which will hold some memories for the from the new year's eve that's what I did what kind of things I did or we did with my boyfriend and then on the right side I did, um, I gave for each day a little box and Crystal Big actually is the most familiar place for me to draw because I did once a picture of it just for fun and I thought it would be nice to use it here too, just a theme it, and I like really like how Crystal Big looked because it's as its name says, it has crystals and they are quite beautiful. And for this I used scribbles at matter pens again. Blackening these boxes took forever, or the side of the big of the page. On the left side, just I thought it would take forever. But I really like how it looks now. Then I used watercolors for um, purple accents like Tess coming, but this purple light from the above, which is kind of it doesn't show that much, but I kind of like it. it. You can see it better in real life, in the natural light. This kind of this video kind of takes it away.
here header with this nice tissue paper and I thought it didn't show that well so I added black uh, paper underneath it and then the glued it that mark you can see it there and it doesn't go away and I show you my thumbs but it's not showing my thumb because it looks ugly actually there you saw the sneak peek of the weeks that I'm not showing you here on the on the video but if you want to see them I'm going to post every single one of them to my Instagram which I'm going to link down below so now we are doing the memories page which is basically going to hold all the memories of this month that I'm going to write or glue or whatever I want and <laughs> like I showed you I didn't like the first header at all so this page actually turned out to be very different than I originally thought. I didn't mean to use any washi tape, but then I ended up using because this glitter, silver glitter one is perfect for this and this one. And for the Hollow Knight theme, I'm using this scene that is basically a memory in the game. And it's hard to reach to. It's at the end of this one challenge that I'm going, not going to say anything more about if you are not familiar with it and it's kind of very spoilery, even the scene in here is quite spoilery, sorry about that. which is highlights. I thought it would be nice to put some highlights of the month, like what happened in the world, what's happened to me personally, what I liked, what's the best memory, did I go anywhere, like stuff like that, which might be like mostly COVID-19 news and me not going anywhere. And also if I did manage to, manage to, manage to do, do my I uh, managed to do, do my, my god, managed to do my goals that I marked. I think that way I will be more aware that what I need to do if I want to achieve my goals the next month. Then I actually colored them orange because that's the big blood point of this game and big blood of points of this next character I'm drawing to the next page which is basically the Hollow Knight and this is like the last boss of the game and I don't know if it's spoilery or not basically I think it might be <laughs> sorry but yeah I thought it would be perfect to end this month with the picture that's about the last moment almost the last moment of the game like I, when I started it with the first moment of the game and also I put up a quote that fits the last moment and the character you can see okay this character was actually the hardest thing I have done with watercolors so far like there you can see that I'm not at all familiar with using watercolors as you can see I'm using two brushes like <laughs> I thought I looked kind of weird or like I was wielding two swords or something but yeah I just was desperate desperately trying to blend the colors so it wouldn't look so clunky and ugly and kind of like I had to use a lot of dark colors for this and it was surprisingly hard and that made me realize I need a lot of practice with with all the colors but hey this is the way I can practice right and I kind of like the idea that this palette journal is going to be one of the places where I can see if, see my development with art styles and stuffs and stuffs. 
art style and you know different media and mostly like watercolors probably because oh man I really do need to learn how to blend things and that's why I said at the beginning that this was really one of the first steps which taught me how watercolors actually work. this orange gel pen and only maybe black or only orange it looks kind of weird but uh, it's what it is next time I know next time I know to be more careful of what I what colors I use and then I was like mm, this page looks a little bit empty because I don't want to start coloring the background with watercolors I'm done with watercolors for now I literally did this for seven hours and I Fortunately, I got it to two parts, but like I did it in between two different days, but it was still it I literally sucked the soul sucked the soul out of me, and now I kinda I regret that I put those washi tapes there, but what can you do so here's the final flip through. It was really. A pretty cool journey of seven hours and I hope you like this video too it's quite a long one but I hope you don't mind and I hope I didn't spoil too much and well if you liked this video leave a, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more what I do with my bullet journal or you want to see how much I give myself painful moments trying to do something that I have never done before so Thank you for watching and see you next time.